Despite being one of the nicest people of court, Rafael Nadal shows absolutely no mercy when it comes to competition. On his way to winning Roland Garros in 2008, Rafa dropped only 41 games throughout the entire tournament. With winning 9 sets at 6-1 and delivering 3 bagels, that French Open was the most one-sided Grand Slam tournament in the Open era, especially that the final was against Rafa's all-time greatest rival, Roger Federer. That day, Roger looked completely helpless. It was the worst defeat of his entire career, as he managed to win only four games. When I look back at that finals, you know, it's like I played them, but maybe I was a bit... I don't know, how do you say? I'm not sure if I really believed I was going to win the match. As always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more original tennis content. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the video. Still got to believe that the going to zero in on that Definitely. back can't help Roger. You could also make the argument, though, that it makes conditions heavier. Oh, oh better tried to go behind the dessert. And forehand. Spin again. Exhibit A. Well, it's just... Uh. And Nadal breaks Federer and low. Two breaks uh. to Nadal. Oh. And Federer didn't even get put a racket up to that passing shot. He was unlucky that ball clipped the tape because it would have been a winner. of the last 14 points for Nadal. Zero cancer. Now that is stunning in its dominance as Nadal has done all French Open long. Three games and now serves to start the second. Just when we thought it was going to get interesting. Just when Roger Federer pulled off two great points. I mean, you got to tip your hat if he had shots like that. Right. Federer just smacked that second serve into 20 of the last 22 points now. And, you know, we, we talk, when we talk about this matchup, we wonder, how do you win? Where do you get your points from against Nadal? How do you win three sets? So far, no one in this tournament has won one. This negativity at the moment. Ah. He tried to trick Rafa Nadal there. He was going to throw the drop shot down and decided to hit it firm and deep with some magnificent backhand pass. When he gets the short ball, he's going to, looks like he's going to hit the drop shot. And it turned out to be the wrong decision, but still it was a tough shot that Nadal pulled off. Bananas 
was there. That guy got over. moving on this court. Oh. <laughs> Man. The places, you could just put little X things. everywhere on this red clay where from the spot where the down hits a winner. Bad luck that he clipped the tape there because the game would have been hit. Give him credit because he had just missed that very shot. Roger had to run a lot at that point, so he had it in mind. That is the first sign of anger from Federer. Didn't like the hop that that last shot took. The ball. Look how good a return that was. Try to throw a bit of a change up. How many times, and, and again, Federer must continue to try to attack Nadal at the net, but how many times do we see him not even put a racket out? Watch. Doesn't even make a move to track that passing shot because it's so well struck. He's really starting to work Federer over. Really nightmare, nightmare scenario for Federer. He's got to cover that shot, and then if it goes to his back end, it's kicking up over his head. Difficult shot to pull off. This one there. That ball landed about three inches inside the line. Changeover. So it wasn't on this surface. That's that quick move on that backhand. Wow. <laughs> it, it's a desperate move, obviously. Hit an overhead from where he was. Put him out of position. And then Nadal with that wicked angle. And again, as it did late in the first set, now you start to see a rare vision. Roger Federer, without that confidence, without the champion's body language. Roger Federer had mm -hmm. to serve broken six times in two sets. Wow! Let's take a look at Traveler's Hawkeye and just... You think rock has got to serve grooved? <laughs> yeah, I think he's think got he's a good Going to the same plan? location? Mm -hmm. I think he's going to his backhand. 100% <laughs> on firsts. 
But still, Roger really has it moved over. He stepped in. To hit that good a shot off the back foot with no, that amount of pace is, is remarkable. How far I've ever seen. Keeps it simple, doesn't he? That's in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Federer is just shaking his head. Can we say that the man who beats him is the best clay court player of all time? Yeah, yes. Okay. We're three you games away from that. <laughs> <laughs> Contrasting, isn't it? It's shocking because it's happening to Federer, but if you just look at Rafa Nadal, this is absolute brilliance to watch this. His last match, he was in the same position at three live serving. That's really something. It's that Roger came into this tournament saying, I feel like I'm playing better and better. I'm getting closer and closer to beating Nadal. I might lose this set at love. Unbelievable, stunning performance by Nadal. Pris dans le contre-pied. Deux points du match. Oh là là. Allez, service sur la ligne, balle de match. C'est dehors, c'est dehors. C'est nadalissime. Ah ouais. C'est vraiment ça, tout au long de cette quinzaine. Il y a eu lui et les autres. Et malheureusement, c'est très cruel pour euh, Roger Federer, mais ça se termine en trois petits sets. 6-1, 6-3, 6-0. C'est absolument phénoménal ce qu'a fait Raphaël Nadal. C'est vrai que le public était derrière Roger Federer pour espérer un combat. Il n'y a pas eu de combat. Il était largement, largement au-dessus Raphaël Nadal. Et j'ai peur, Arnaud. Absolutely amazing career, and it's wonderful to have you on, on our team. And, um... Please welcome Rafa Nadal.